We left our lives in London to live in a van for a year and drive around Europe. It's something we both wanted to do for a long time and we've finally taken the plunge to make our dream of van life into a reality. This is me, Tanya, and that's Adam. And this is our van Jitters, aka Jits. So we're starting our van life journey in Ireland because Tanya is Irish and we've, she wanted to explore more of, more of her homeland. We've had discussions about this before where it's so easy to take for granted wherever it is that you've grown up. Yeah. Um, and You never explore your back garden. Yeah, exactly, and that's what we want to do. Yeah. yeah. We were really excited to find our first camping spot right next to the sea. We parked up just in time for the last of the daylight. Literally parked on the beach. Well done! How's your breakfast? Very good. How's the view? Stunning. Except it is starting to drizzle now. It was sunny about five minutes ago. And then as soon as we get up and manage to make breakfast, we managed to get out of the van. In comes the rain and the grey. Well, welcome to Ireland. Yeah. The weather changes every like two minutes. So last night, um, just as it was approaching golden hour, we found this fantastic spot by the beach. I mean, you can just tell it is absolutely stunning. It's ridiculous. <laughs> uh, oh, hello. I decided jacking into saying hi. 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 Um, and <laughs> Tanya is just packing up the bed. What did we just see, Tanya? We just saw three horses, like just they, well, they weren't galloping, they were walking. They weren't even close to galloping, they weren't even trotting. I think, I, as soon as he started trotting, I was like, look, they're galloping. But, but how he, epic. Yeah, that was so good. Preparing our next stop. Very concentrated. Yeah. Is it called Wild Atlantic Route? Wild Atlantic Way. Wild Atlantic Way. The Wild Atlantic Way is a 2,500 kilometre drive along the beautiful, rugged west coast of Ireland. With 157 discovery points, 1,000 attractions and 2,500 activities, it's said to be the longest tourist coastal route in the world. Needless to say, we didn't get to stop and see everything along our drive, but what we did see absolutely surpassed our expectations. different this is <laughs> from New York yeah. uh, like actually being able to go and fill your lungs with air it's so nice yeah rather than inhaling New York air or London air so it's 7 28 in the morning I just woke up to this incredible view look at the sunrise the colors are insane it's the first time in the morning that it hasn't just been cloudy and overcast. Yeah. This is our first sunrise. So gorgeous. Adam was fast asleep and I was like, Adam, <laughs> wake up! Oh my god, it's so nice. You're camouflaged. It's always a bit of 
a gamble as to whether we're actually going to find a really good spot or whether we're going to have to like drive away from the beach. But so far, Ireland has been an absolute gold mine of places to park up and sleep without any problem. No signs saying don't stay overnight. Um, so yeah, should be absolutely fine. Yeah, and you keep spotting them and going spot, <laughs> spot, spot, spot. They're everywhere. This is ridiculous. Oh my god. What a spot. Well done. This is ridiculous. So it's now one minute to 12. Um, and basically I set Adam off about an hour ago um, to go out and just to basically like get some fresh air, leave the van and I said to him, come back in 20 minutes, I'll do the kitchen, uh, clean up, do up the bed, it's a good challenge, see if I can get everything done in 20 minutes. But obviously, because van life takes so long, it's now an hour later and I'm still just making the beds. So it just like takes so much longer. So he came back after 20 minutes and I was like, I think you need to come back later because I'm still not done. But just sometimes it's just easy to just get on and do it yourself. Oh God, he's he's coming around the corner now. <laughs> he's circling around. <laughs> he's circling around <laughs> like <laughs> in, his, in his big jacket. He's probably a bit cold, um, but I'm not letting him back in until the place is done. Here he is. <laughs> Is waiting for me. <laughs> Are you waiting for Jets to be done? I'm actually just going, I was wondering if I could get my camera because I've been kicked out of my home. You've been kicked out of your home, okay, you want your camera. Um, your camera is there on the floor next to no, it's the Huel I spilled. The Huel, the toilet paper, which usually goes in the bathroom. The but sand. Look at all the sand. Sand everywhere. Bad life. Yeah. Anyway. Okay, I'll get out of here and leave you to it. Okay, bye. Come bye. back in 20 minutes, another 20. Another 20. <laughs> and there is the van mess. Ooh. He's, she's offered to make lunch. He's offered to make me lunch, a speciality beans on toast. <laughs> lunch for one, is it? Lunch for one there. This is Camping Food 101. Beans on toast. <laughs> what did you call yourself? What, told you I was about to show off my uh, culinary prowess? <laughs> yeah, there he is. Look at those handmade beans on toast. You don't have to have it, that's all I'm saying. It's delicious. <laughs> She's not complaining now. After a night on the dock, we planned to cover some ground and make our way up north. We drove some higgledy-piggledy cliffside roads and about 15 minutes later we found a lay-by overlooking the sea that we just couldn't resist. So we threw the plan of a long drive out the window and decided to sleep here and explore the cliffs the following morning. Oh there he is. He's come back. I, I haven't I hadn't finished. Hello. Hello. How was that? Wet. I'm worried a bit about my kit, but it seemed worse. Epic views. Um, for the morning and just like the most amazing drive. And we have set our alarm for what time? 5.30. So this would be the earliest that Adam has gotten up if we managed to get up before seven. In van life, yeah. In van life. Oh, in van life, yeah. across the bridge and uh, this is what they meant by the bridge. So adventurous. <laughs> 
So Tanya has made us some uh, epic Buddha bowls um, for lunch. Um, here they are. And here's what we're having them. What's in them? Um, there's kale, sweet mm -hmm. potato, cucumber, mm -hmm. tomato, avocado with sesame all over it. But only because like it looks really nice. And then black beans, uh, steamed broccoli, and then some beetroot burgers, um, and then some spring onion, and then I make this like a tahini sauce. Ready? Yeah. Just gonna try and not drop it, yeah? <laughs> Tanya's really scared of dropping hers. Well, I look down from my tall window. We met Beck, a woman who lived locally and was a van life expert. In a previous life, she lived in a van for 16 years traveling Europe with her young son. She was kind enough to let us in on one of her favorite secret spots for us to park jitters. Van life lesson one, trust local knowledge. Antenna poles. Their mothers sat on brown park benches and were waiting to get old. We, we were delighted when Beck and her dog Toby joined us at the beach to play ball. To the sound of a guitar strum. Yes, it brings us back together. Though sometimes I wonder how Cause to me it's just another Way to neutralize my eyes From seeing the daily weary faces For an hour that I'm alive Comprehensive cow Comprehensive. <laughs> I was trying to use alliteration. Comprehensive. <laughs> oh, you can see Jits in the background. <laughs> I know, they have such sweet hairstyles. Oh, slobbery nose. Slobbery nose. A chew. Uh, hey mate, um, yes I've got a Peugeot Boxer and it just basically keeps stalling as soon as I try and drive away. Um, I'm wondering if there's something new you could look at. That's the wrong, wrong type. So that's the wrong type that got yes, put in there? Yes. And that's why it came off? Yes. Oh, shit. Hello. Hello. So what's going on? Uh, we have broken down and we are parked behind a petrol station. Uh, a mechanic has come and had a look and the problem is the same problem that we've had before, the same problem that we had in Dublin, which is something I'm not exactly sure, something to do with the coil, these cables are loose and it's all misfiring. Um, hopefully he's going to try and fix us and get us uh, on the road for tonight, um, otherwise we've got nowhere to stay, because obviously this is our home. We took Jitters to the doctors and she got half fixed. We were told that we would need to wait until we were back in the UK to get a fuel filter, the replacement part we need to get Jits back to full health. Right, putting so, on your driving shoes. Yeah, taking these off. So, just been speaking to the mechanic here. Um, basically, the van isn't properly fixed and it's worrying because it needs to be properly fixed. Yes. I don't like driving a van that could just like die on me any minute. Yeah, of course. It's very nerve wracking. There's our mechanic driving There's... off into the sunset. Yeah. 
he likes to drive like that. Straight from the garage, we made a blast ground and headed north to County Mayo for an activity weekend with Big Style to meet with friends and have our first ever surfing lesson, which we didn't really film because we were too busy trying to stand up. After the weekend, we found the Lost Valley, a beautiful spot around the corner to rest, recharge and finish editing our first YouTube vlog. Thanks so much for watching and please subscribe if you want to follow the rest of our journey around Europe. Suddenly really desperate. Yeah, the one thing I try and really, really try and avoid because without emptying the toilet is a bit of a mission when it's when it's uh, winter and there are no campsites available and you've got to find a chemical toilet. Oh god, I hope it's warm in there. <laughs> Good luck! I'm gonna take a poo jumper. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy! The, the bathroom's clean. Oh, it's so clean. And yeah. dry. And almost. Dry. Enjoy! Thank you. <laughs> no peeking. No, no peeking.